Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brad, it's here, back again with another Commentary Center video, and I really wanted to start this video just by saying how ironic is it that right after the video I made where I talked about how I would stop you doing YouTube after I stopped having fun with it, I ended up missing my first ever upload since I consistently started uploading about a month and a half ago. But don't worry too much, I don't think I'm going to be quitting YouTube anytime soon, but I did kind of want to talk about where I was in my mental space when this all kind of happened. I really did want to get a video out this past Monday, but it just didn't work out that way. I tried recording a video, but kept stuttering. I had about two minutes of footage by the time it had been 40 minutes of me trying to record. I kept having to delete the audio just because of how much I couldn't form a proper sentence. The plan really was to just take a break until I could speak English, but later I realized that the video idea I had was just kind of bullshit and it honestly wasn't anything I really wanted to talk about. I felt like it was just toxic what I was going to talk about. The main topic that I was going to talk about was toxicity on the internet and how I don't really mind it all that much, but it ended up just becoming mostly me talking about YouTube drama between Keemstar and H3, which I don't really want to talk about much on the channel. I don't really want to talk about YouTube drama on the channel, that just seems like cheap content. And once I decided to scrap the video idea, I just really couldn't be bothered. I felt really burnt out on creating content, and I just could not make a video or edit a video or even record something to put out on last Monday. Like I had said earlier, it's ironic that I talked about in my last video, me quitting YouTube when I stopped having fun, and in that time I was considering stopping, I was not having fun with what was going on, but don't worry, a big inspiration hit me today and now I just really want to get back to work and try to get ahead on making videos for when those days happen. When I first started making YouTube videos, I was always two or three videos ahead for when those days happen because I understand that they do happen to almost everyone, even with my other friends that create content. There are just some days where there's no inspiration and you don't want to make content or you can't think about what to make. But like I said earlier, a great deal of inspiration hit me earlier today and today's video topic idea would be me being famous on YouTube. Or more specifically, would I even want to be famous on this platform? Because to be honest, there's a lot of different ways to look at fame, and I typically tend to go the pessimistic route where I look at things in the wrong way and I see things negatively, and I kind of just wanted to dive a little bit more into that. But before I dive into today's topic, I really just want to point out how 43% of my watch time comes from people that aren't subscribed. So if you do like this video and you've checked out some of my other content and you do enjoy it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So immediately one of the first things that people think about when they hear fame is they think about money and financial incentives. And to me personally, financial incentives seem to be the only positive things that come out of fame, or at least one of the biggest ones that you hear about. I suppose another big positive that comes from fame is having the platform to do charity work, and that's actually something that I would really like to get into if I ever did get famous. I would like to do collaborations with other YouTubers for big charities that I support. But I do believe that also comes with financial incentives. They sort of fall under the same category. The only other positive I can really think of at the moment would be building and having your own community. And I suppose that positive doesn't really affect me personally, or at least not too much, but it's more so a positive for the people within that community that get to meet other people with those same interests. I can say personally that if it wasn't for a community, I probably wouldn't have a lot of the friends that I do right now. The Dragon Ball community is what really brought me and a lot of my friends together. It's what made me meet a lot of people on the internet, and it's what made me get into a lot of the things that I got into. If it wasn't for community, I probably would not be near where I am right now. But obviously community cannot always be positive, and I'm really hoping that if I get to build and have my own community of people that watch me and enjoy my content, that they don't end up being something like the K-pop fanbase, for example. You know, like the stands that post random fan cams under tweets that have absolutely nothing to do with K-pop or the people that they're posting fan cams of. So right off the top of my head, those really are the only positives I can think of at the moment, but there's a whole heap of negatives that we can really jump into a lot more than the positives. I can imagine once you get to a certain level of fame, keeping your privacy is something that gets difficult to do. You see a lot of YouTubers get their addresses leaked, they get their phone numbers leaked, there's people stalking them, and that is something that I'm genuinely worried about come the time where I ever get famous, if that does happen of course. Privacy is something that I hold very near and dear to my heart, and I'm really hoping that I can keep my family and some of my closer friends private, and it's not something that other people will tend to go after. People might message my family, or maybe somebody message some of my friends. It's just something to keep in mind at all times, and I'm sure it's something that some other YouTubers have to deal with on occasion. 
So to sum up what I'm saying nice and neat, it's really that I would like to keep my private and my YouTube life completely separate and not have the two interact with each other. The next negative thing I have in mind is the absolute onslaught of people you see on social media that constantly insult you and come after you no matter what you're doing. Now don't get me wrong, I understand that this is the internet and everybody gets the smoke over the internet. You are hiding behind a monitor and you can really say whatever you want in the privacy of your own home without having to face the repercussions of it. And I think everyone is aware that social media is probably some of the most negative places there is over the internet. Things like Instagram and especially Twitter. And it sucks that a lot of people, when they talk about these sorts of things and how negative it can be, people just typically respond with, Oh, well, you got famous on the internet, like, you should have expected this sort of thing. But why should we have to expect that? Why should we have to expect so much negativity? Why can't people just not be an asshole? And I want to clarify because I'm sure some people are watching this or at least some of the people that know me and they're saying, hey, Brad, it's your kind of an asshole. And yeah, I know, but it's all memes and it's all just shtick. It's all gimmick. I mean, I'm not actually trying to hurt somebody and I'm not trying to actually insult somebody like some others do. I really don't mind shit talk if it's in a situation where it's all clearly being memed on and used as a joke. And while some other people will disagree with me on that, I mean, that's just my position. I mean, look at me, I was a fan of Leafy is Here and all the shit he was starting with Pokimane and H3. But I can't imagine what it's like for bigger YouTubers that have to face so much negativity over social media every single day. Especially if you want to talk about the hierarchy, if you want to talk about the big, big YouTubers like PewDiePie, who constantly has negative articles written about him that people look at and people believe to be true. I can't imagine what it's like to be somebody in that position. And while I don't think I have to worry about news publications constantly making articles about me in a negative light, I do think that the onslaught on Twitter and other social medias are probably something that I do want to stay away from. And while it is a little off topic, I do really quickly want to say, maybe as advice for the viewers, that social media isn't probably the best place to spend your time, or at least not so much of it. Recently, I've learned how to step away from Twitter and how to step away from other different social medias and how to stay off the internet just in general. It, I noticed it was really taking an impact on me, at least for my mental health, and I kind of had to, I had to step away, and I think it's something that everybody should know. And this is something that I've actually seen a lot of YouTubers do. I've seen a lot of YouTubers and other famous people take steps away from social media, especially Twitter. I mean, as I mentioned before, talking about PewDiePie, he actually, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even use Twitter anymore. I don't know if he deactivated his account or he just doesn't tweet. But if you notice, he stopped using Twitter and then he got buff. Like, if that's not an incentive to stop using Twitter, then I don't know what is. And this whole point really isn't just to shit talk Twitter. I gotta give Twitter its own credit for being a very positive thing at times, but at other times it can really just be one big dumpster fire. And that dumpster fire can be amplified tenfold depending on your position on the internet. If you're a, if you're a big guy, then uh, I'm afraid that dumpster fire is engulfing your house and your life with it. But to get back on tracks on the negatives about being famous, I think one of the things that I personally would have to worry about the most would be actually getting cancelled. Now it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that I've put out some pretty raunchy things on the internet all in the sake of memes and all in the sake of fun. I'm really not a bad guy, or at least I don't think I am, and I hope I don't get cancelled, but honestly if I ever make it big on the internet, it's pretty inevitable. It's, it's gonna happen, believe me. I know people are going to dig up times where I've said the n-word or maybe even pull up that old tweet where I tweeted, why are African kids starving? Just use Uber Eats, bro. And nothing I have said has ever had the intention of being offensive. I want to make it clear that any time that I've done something raunchy, it's just to get a little cheap laugh out of somebody that has an equally as fucked up mind as I do. But at the end of the day, this is the internet, and jokes aren't really a thing you can do. The joke police will come knock down your door and butt fuck you raw dog and leave you pregnant without child support. But to be completely honest, my main concern really isn't in getting cancelled, but my main concern is being limited in the content that I'm allowed to make and being limited in the jokes that I can make in my videos. I really just want to say what I think is funny and I really want to make the comedy what I want it to be, and unfortunately, because of the certain I guess social restrictions or even YouTube guidelines, I really can't do that. Or technically speaking, I would be able to do it, but I wouldn't really be able to monetize the content that I would be producing, which is a little unfortunate when you do put a lot of work into these videos. And if I'm doing it as a job, I'm more than likely putting a lot more work into my videos than I would be right now. 
And that's really one big scary thought that I have is that if YouTube ever did become a job for me, if I ever did become big on this platform, I would more than likely have to clean up my act both in and outside of my videos. I would have to be less edgy and swear less, and that's something I'm not exactly sure that I'm ready for, at least at the moment. And finally, the last point I want to make in terms of the negative sides of becoming famous would just be the spotlight. I mean, personally, I like attention among my friends, but getting attention outside of that, especially at the level some people do on, the, on this platform, or fame in general, it just doesn't seem like something I necessarily want. And this spotlight not only affects the people that don't know you, but it affects the people that do know you. I'm really scared about my friends and family thinking about me differently because of, say, my job. If I'm really famous and I have a lot of money, people are going to view me differently. And I'm really worried that other people, certain people that are maybe even close to me, could use me and take advantage of that. I feel like if YouTube ever becomes a monetizable job for me where I'm doing it full time, I'm more than likely going to get calls from people that I haven't heard from in years asking me if I want to make videos with them or if I can help them financially if I want to make an investment into their business and being used like that or at least people trying to use me like that is just something that makes me feel very dirty. Even though it's not something that's happening right now, even just the thought of it really disgusts me. And besides the spotlight putting you in a position to be taken advantage of, I'm really concerned about the spotlight inflating my ego. If not many of you know, my ego used to be pretty high up there. In fact, it was it's kind of a gimmick that I even still run with. If you look at my first video when I started playing UFC, uh, when I started uploading consistently, it was called, I think it was called the best UFC 3 player of all time. I like to play up to the ego act, but what if the spotlight is on me and I actually grow this insane ego that evolves into something that's just god awful. But it's probably best not to overthink these things, and in conclusion, looking at everything that we've talked about so far, I really don't think I would like fame, but the financial incentive is there and it's such a prominent part of becoming famous. I would like to be able to take care of a lot of my family and to be able to help my friends if they ever needed it, or even treat them because I feel like a lot of my friends, or at least some of them, deserve it. But in terms of the fame itself, it's not really something that I'm interested in. I'm not into people constantly talking about me, people that I don't know trying to find out where I live and calling me, constantly getting messages. It just seems like it's too much for somebody like me to handle. I mean, I guess we'll have to see if it ever happens, how it's all going to go down and if I'm going to be mentally prepared for it. But also considering everything that I've gone over, I'm curious to see what you all have to say. Let me know down in the comments below if fame is something that interests you, if you think the same way I do, where the fame not so much, but the money, <laughs> yeah, that's a big yes. But yeah, definitely let me know down below, maybe we can start a conversation and maybe uh, your opinions can help me see things a little bit differently depending on how your view is. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you haven't yet, subscribed and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.